afternoon, he flew to America to join his third wife, Donna, and their well-known daughter, singer Marquita Little Wolf. The chief will then visit the little Colorado town of Hoyne, where his father dubbed him Little Wolf because he made more noise than the howling wolves and coyotes put together. Graham Kelly, Seven National News. Well, John, on the subject of uh, farewells, actor Peter Sellers, of course, died almost two weeks ago in one of his classic movies, Dr. Strangelove, follows in just a moment here on Channel 7. During Newsnight early in June, I was able to introduce a special interview, in fact, one of the last in-depth interviews done with Peter Sellers by the Sun newspaper here in Sydney's John Henrahan. It was, of course, recorded at the Cannes Film Festival, but the part that we're about to present, we didn't present at that time. In this part, Sellers talks of death following his initial scrape with it in 1964. Have you considered the all death and facing death and going through that process? Yes, uh, I certainly have. Um, as I say, uh, the sort of death that comes from that is like just going to sleep. Because I was, at one stage, when they were trying to get my heart going again, clinically dead for nearly the ultimate time we'd become, before we become a vegetable, mm. three minutes almost. And if that's what it is, then I can just sort of maybe just say, listen, everybody, you've got nothing to worry about. Peter Sellers, and he comes up next on 7 in Dr. Strangelove, a movie well worth staying up for. Thanks for staying with us on our first news night. We'll be back tomorrow again around the 10.30 time slot. In the meantime, good night. Good night.